Hi, my name is Bintu and today I am going to teach you how to use Java Swing checkboxes. I will be using Java NetBeans IDE for this purpose. I hope you know what is checkboxes. See, these are the checkboxes. They allow you to choose more than one options. See, basically there are two types of options that you may come across while programming. One is your radio buttons and another is checkboxes. Radio buttons allow you, you to choose only one option out of the available options, but the checkbox allow you, you to select more than one options, whatever is desired. So what I'll be doing that I'll be showing you how to display checkboxes. I'll be displaying certain food items in the form of checkboxes and the user is supposed to select any of the checkboxes he wants, right? And uh, accordingly, the bill amount of the chosen food items will be displayed. As I told you that I'll be doing the programming through a NetBeans IDE. It is a lovely IDE which gives you a place to do all programming tasks. When you launch a NetBeans IDE, this is the first thing that you get. So the first step is to create a Java application. So I'll click on file menu, click on new project. So it will give you certain options. We want to create a Java desktop application. So I'll select Java from the categories pane. And from projects pane, I'll select Java application. Click next button. It is asking you to name the application. Say I'll give the name as demo checkbox. Right. Don't disturb these places. These are the places where the project is created in, on your uh, computer. Please don't disturb them. Let it be the default. Click on finish. So the NetBeans will create certain files for you. It has created one Java class file for you. The name of the Java class file is demo checkbox.java. This is a blank file right now at the moment. If I run this program right now, it won't get you any output. So as I told you that I'll be creating certain checkboxes. This is a, you know, a GUI based application. When I say GUI, that is graphical user interface. So I'll be adding one J frame form to this Java application. So do what? Right click on this uh, demo checkbox, the package that is auto created for you. Right click on it. Click on new. Select this J frame form. Can you see that? Click on this. It is asking you to name the, the J frame that form that is created for you. Let us give the name say, say food items. Right. Click on finish. This is the J frame form that is created for you. This is in right now in the design mode. And here when you click on source mode, this is the class file. That is a Java program for the J frame form that is auto created for you. In this design form, you can drag and drop the Java sync control over here. You, you don't have to write any code for the checkboxes. You just need to drag and drop. See what I'm doing. I'm dragging this checkbox here and dropping it over here. Again, another checkbox here. This third checkbox. Now, just to remind the user what is supposed to be done with these checkboxes, I'll click on this label button. I'll put it over here. I want to display the bill amount of these uh, checkboxes. So, I'll put one label button over here also. These swing controls are a bit small, right? So, what I'll do, I'll click them all. I'll go into properties. Can you see this font font property here? Click here. See, let's make it say 14. Click on OK. The font size is increased. See, uh, this J label is the default text for this label control. So I'll double click it to retype it, to overwrite it. Say, I'll write here, uh, select the food items. Right, so this is the a bit of small information for the reader what is supposed to be done i right click here i click on edit text i'll write here say make it declare this as a pizza this checkbox will represent as pizza for dollar 10. right click here click on edit text say this is a burger for say price of say five dollars again right click on this checkbox click on edit text and uh, make it say hot dog the price for that hot dog is say dollar seven and this is for the price that is the bill amount that will be displayed 
I'll increase its size. Uh, this is the pizza checkbox, right? What is the default name for this checkbox? Is this? Can you see it here? J checkbox one. What is the name of this uh, burger checkbox? J checkbox two. These are the names of these variables, these checkboxes. I don't want these names. I want to rename them. So let's do what? Right click on this. Select change variable name. We'll make it J checkbox pizza. We'll rename the variable for this. We don't want the default name as say J, J checkbox two. We'll make it J checkbox burger. Right click on the checkbox. Select change variable name and make it J checkbox burger. Right click here and make it say J checkbox hot dog. And this one, this one, it is supposed to display the uh, amount uh, for the bill that is okay. So what I'll do, I'll rename it to make it say J label response. Response is the variable that will display the bill amount of the chosen food items. I don't want this default text to appear. So what I'll do, I'll just right click on it, select edit text and I'll delete the whole text. I don't want it to appear. This is the my JFM form but without any code, right? Now I have to write the code for this, right? I want that the moment a user selects any of the checkboxes or any of the food item, the bill amount of the chosen food item should be displayed through this label response. See, suppose I want to write the code for this uh, J checkbox pizza. I have to double click on it. I'll be here. This NetBeans has created one uh, uh, method for me, J checkbox pizza action performed. That means whenever any action, whenever any event is performed on the checkbox, it will execute this method. And here what I'll do, I'll write the code for that. See, this is the code I've already written for you. Just copy paste here. Let's try to understand what I have written here. I have to declare one variable in of integer type as a global variable here. Here. I'll declare it as of integer type and will initialize it to zero. The amount of this pizza is ten dollars. So what I'm doing here, I'm saying that if somebody has selected the pizza checkbox, whatever the value of bill amount variable is, please add value ten to it. And if somebody has deselected it, if the checkbox is unchecked, please delete ten value from the from the bill amount variable. So after doing this, whatever the additional uh, subtraction is done, you are displaying the bill amount. What are you doing? You are displaying through the label response. Bill amount is and this bill amount which is of integer type, you are typecasting it into a string. See, the string dot value of is for typecasting. It is for converting an integer into a string variable. So this will print the bill amount as 10, whatever the value of bill amount variable is. We have to write the code for the other two checkboxes also. So let's go here. For the burger, it is $5, right? So double click here. It will take you to the source mode. Copy the code for burger. This is the code. So what we are doing that you are checking that if the J checkbox burger is selected, if it is checked, you are adding value 5 to the bill amount variable. And if it is unchecked, you are deducting 5 from the bill amount variable. After that, whatever the procedure is done, whatever the computation is done, you are displaying the bill amount variable here. Same is the scenario for your another variable, another checkbox that is of hot dog. Let's double click here. And here we will copy this code of hot dog. Let's paste it here. See what you're doing here. If the uh, hot dog checkbox is selected, you are adding value seven because the price of the check uh, uh, because the price of the hot dog you have declared as seven dollars, right? So you are adding seven if somebody has selected the hot dog, and if somebody has deselected it, if somebody has unchecked that uh, hot dog, you are deducting seven out of that. After all processing, you are displaying the bill amount variable. So your project is ready to run. If I run from here now. It will run this demo checkbox.java and this file is at the moment empty. So it won't get you any output. 
to display this food items dot java you have to right click on this select run file option from here see this is output let's click on pizza bill amount is 10 let's select hot dog also see bill amount is dollar 17 if you select this burger you get the uh, bill amount is dollar 22 and if you remove any of the items can you see the difference see this program is working perfectly well if you run this program from here this will run this main class as demo checkbox or java and it has nothing here right and you if you want to run it from here you have to declare this food items or java as the main class file of this project so how to do that right click on this project go to properties here on the run category can you see that here the main class is declared as demo checkbox you right here you want to declare as a food items dot java as a the main class file make it okay right now you if you run it see your food items is working perfectly well see so if you find any problem you can mail me at bmharwani at yahoo.com even for the code you can write me you can mail me thanks for watching the video have a nice day